The day the beer move guy looks at, Kelly's Heroes. Oh, it's a Clint Eastwood war type heist movie. Yeah, that's it. That's Classic Tuesdays. That's the artist about. Brought to you by the beer movie guy. Hi, the beer movie guys. And this week on Classic Tuesdays, we're looking at Kelly's Heroes. Kelly's Heroes is a 1970 film directed by Brian G. Hutton, starring Clint Eastwood, Donald Sutherland, Telly Savalas, Don Rickles, and Carol O'Connor. Let's look at what it's about. Kelly has been sent behind German lines to get a German tour guide. Let me explain. The guys in Kelly's outfit are about to have a few days off and they think they're going to be close enough to a town and they want to know which town has the best hotels and women. So Kelly's sergeant actually sends him behind any lines just to grab a German information officer of some type so they can ask what hotels are left standing and how good they are. Kelly actually does this. And while he's looking through the guy's bag, he notices some bars that are oddly shaped and are black. A few seconds, he realizes these are gold bars. They've been painted over. So he decides as they're pulling out to stay behind and get that guy drunk. He gets him nice and hammered, and then the guy spills. There are 14,000 bars sitting in a bank 30 miles from where they are. Kelly's like, yeah, let's go. So Kelly plans out. He goes and gives the guy in charge of mortars a gold bar and bribes him to send mortars at a time when he wants to go somewhere. He goes to the supply sergeant and wants to cut him in so he can get all the rifles and vehicles he needs. The supply officer is Don Rickles and they call him Crap Game because he's always got kind of like an angle on everything. And while he's talking about it, he decides he's going because there's no way he's going to take one bar when he can get a whole lot if he goes along. And as they talk, a tank sergeant named Oddball, played by Donald Sullivan, listens in and says, Hey, I got three tanks that are doing nothing. We we're pretending we're broken, but really we're fine. And so he comes in too. And this turns into some big, huge thing about going to get the gold. Now, Kelly still has to convince his sergeant, who is told, You're not going to a nice town. I want you to stay here in this small farmhouse and spend three days here relaxing. That pretty much seals the deal. Kelly tells all the guys, the guys convince the sergeant, and they're off to go get the gold. This is a fun war movie, which really sounds weird, and we kind of watched it because remember it says coming up. And it does have some actual war stuff in it, and you know, it has a few dramatic moments, it has a few funny moments, it has a few heist type moments, it has a few Clint Eastwood moments. Ah! Clint Eastwood is awesome, he's just his normal self, which is awesome. Telly Savalas is fun as the guy who's always barking orders and telling everyone off. Don Rickles is just hysterical as crap game. He's always complaining. But the show is stolen by Donald Sutherland. <laughs> Donald Sutherland plays Oddball, who is a hippie before hippies existed. He's always talking to his mechanic and he's like, Moriarty, you're giving me negative waves. You're so negative, Moriarty. Positive. Think positive. It's bright Sunday. Look at that. Moriarty, you need to stop being so negative. You're bringing me down. Just every time he talks, it makes me laugh. And then you got Carol O'Connor. Carol O'Connor's a general that, as Kelly and his crew are going behind enemy lines, he hears about it and thinks that they're actually advancing as a unit. The radio chatter they pick up all says stuff about bank heist and crap game. and So they think it's all a code, and they're just like... These soldiers are doing it right. Let's go. And so the general gets a bunch of medals and gets in a jeep and tells everyone, let's go to where those guys are going. Thinking that they're actually taking on the Germans in war. Meanwhile, they're just trying to get 30 miles in so they can steal gold. Kelly's Heroes is really fun. And the ending is just hysterical. In particular, the German guy in the tank is just great. If you're looking for a lighter war movie and a heist movie and Clint Eastwood, I highly recommend Kelly's Heroes. I give it four beers out of five. It's a fun ride. So, have you ever seen Kelly's Heroes? Have you ever heard of Kelly's Heroes? And what is your favorite war movie of all time? Mine, I think, is Memphis Belle. It's a movie we usually watch every Remembrance Day, and I'm hoping to do it this year, too. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell your friends. And until next time, stay bearded, everyone. You're watching the Bearded Movie Guy. It's on Classic Tuesdays. Clint Eastwood's good in everything. I love that guy. He's funny. He's awesome. He's Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Subscribe and tell the Burner Move Guy what you think. And as always, you'll do him safely.